welcome to a soggy Orlando City Stadium. This was a scene about 45 minutes ago. The grounds crew working hard. The lightning has stopped. So we're going to kick off just about 10 minutes past, 10 minutes late, around 4 o'clock Eastern time will be underway. A little closer to Harris this time. McDonald got there. Done with the follow -up. Big save from Harris. Highlight real moment right there for Ashlyn Harris. Watch her footwork. She's able to do the power step over and then get down low. That is the toughest save in goalkeeping, that area right by your feet. Done. Faces up. A little chip over. Dabinia and McDonald both there. Dabinia on it, and it's in the back of the net. Ashlyn Harris had a hand on it, but it wasn't enough to keep it out as Dabinia and the Courage strike first. Watch this, that's a half space, Dunn gets turned up, and that all happened because of the movement of Williams and McDonald clearing the space for Dabini to come. Because Zdorski decides to step up, she leaves a pocket of space on that back line that Dabini runs into, a little bit of bouncing ball, no pressure on it. Winds up with Krieger, but taken away by O'Sullivan. Dabini, now Matthias. Third goal of the season for Matthias. Here's Dunn. Oh boy, McDonald in the air. And one touch. Oh my goodness. Three goals in a matter of minutes for North Carolina. And if you're Orlando, you just want to finish out this half and stop the bleeding that is currently happening to this back line. Three goals in three minutes for North Carolina. Hill did well to keep that one in on the other end. Orlando trying to find some life, and Eggman with the shot, and it's kept out by Rowland. Well, Van Eggman is able to connect from balls on any single half chance, and it's Hill. They're finally getting end line a little bit, trying to push this back line further back and create some gaps, a bit of flexion from Ursic LaRue. Smartly, body positioning wasn't good enough. Camilla is also available as an outside option for the Pride, a player who's been injured, has yet to appear this season. And if they have any chance of getting back, it's going to be with Alex Morgan. Zerboni and her have been challenging as Morgan has to keep dropping in the midfield to get service and get involved in the game. Bending toward the goal off the crossbar. Marta saying it was touched, and she was right. Keeping the goalkeeper on as the service coming in, that is purposeful and that is intentional from Marta. She knows how to put texture on a ball. Zdorski came up on the set piece. LaRue, beautiful ball over the top to Morgan! It's off the post! Best of the day for Orlando so far. Now one thing that Paul Riley told us was that he wanted to see his substitutions be able to make a difference. It's as good as his starters have been. He also wants to be able to feel like when subs come in, they make a difference in a game. So now he'll get another chance here as Meredith Speck comes in. But you also see on the other side, Alex Morgan coming off for Orlando and no sub to be made. They'll just have to go down a man at this point. Here's Marta. Creating something out of nothing for herself, but goes out of bounds. Well, it was a match to forget if you are Orlando. 3-0 the final as North Carolina looking dominant with the victory and the shutout.